So here's my second part of the Engino robotics kit review. Here I've actually built like the humanoid kind of robot with a uh, line following sensors at the bottom, two motors, um, wires at the back. It was good fun actually, I built on holiday. Uh, my favorite parts are these. So these are um, variable length beams that you can just twist, pull a bit, and then put back in. They've got like clip bits there. So that's kind of my favorite part. I kind of like the idea that you could have variable length beams. Here's a brain up close. There, after building what I believe is probably one of the biggest models, there are still quite a lot of spare parts. You've got little light modules, touch sensor, there's another motor module, etc. I found it very easy to build. As I said, it is designed for eight year olds. See, if you see this parts, it kind of just clips apart. It's really kind of easy. I guess um, if you're used to like, I guess, Lego and other robotics um, sets, you might find it a bit easy to rotate stuff. You know, some of this stuff isn't square on, but I don't think an eight year old is really gonna care about that. I mean, it's just a, a nice little platform that clips together pretty easily that they can then program. So the aim of it next is to actually um, program it up, show it running on a tablet. That should be my next video very, very soon. If you've got any questions, let me know. As I said, uh, you can see my previous video about how much it costs, etc. It's coming to the UK to hopefully Maplin's very, very soon. If you've got an eight year old or a little bit older, want something different. Lots of other models included. The instruction book is pretty thick. A lot of companies have actually got away with, uh, gone away with uh, instruction books and I like instruction books. Uh, they also have a tablet app as well. So ask any questions you got. Thank you very much.